Okay, ladies and gents, um, as I've mentioned, I'll show you uh, some ways of cleaning uh, the brass. Uh, I've got a couple of fairly dirty pieces of brass here. And how to clean that uh, without putting them in a tumbler or a uh, ultrasonic cleaner or anything like that. So here you can see there's a 375. Um, it is uh, fairly dirty and we'll see what it comes out if I use a couple of these uh, uh, products. So the first one that I'm going to try uh, is what they call the crazy cloth. Um, this one is old. I've got this one for close to, well, if not more than 10 years. So, um, and, and it still works. It's amazing this, uh, how this works. Uh, then what I'll show you next up is the uh, Never Dull. Uh, it's uh, in a tin and if we can just get this open. There you go. So it's like a fibery uh, product impregnated with uh, some chemicals to uh, clean the, uh, the, the brass just as well. And then I've got another product here. Uh, it's uh, Rites uh, Brass Cream. And just to, to mention, any one of these uh, products, uh, it doesn't have any ammonia in it. So if you use anything that's got an ammonia basis, uh, it's, it's, it's not good for your brass. It eventually deteriorates and uh, you will get uh, cracks and all sorts of things because of the ammonia reacting with the, with the brass and, and, and specifically some other pieces of or other components of the um, of the brass itself okay but to carry on and doing all this you need a couple of or one or, or of these uh, case drivers so I've got uh, a couple of case drivers down need these ones are from Lee uh, they actually made for the case length trimming but I use them for the case turning as well uh, so this is a number two so uh, 306 typically let's get a nice and dirty one over here that one will go in there and then it's tight and then you can just tighten it and it holds it fairly tight so there you've got one there so that's uh, the lee type of of case turners then i've got another one uh, it's it's a brand that i that i bought and you can basically fit any brand in here that's a, a Lee, so that one, that's a number two, so that will also hold a number uh, or, or a, a, your um, 306 cases. It's got a pin that protrudes there, and that will go right into the primer pocket. It will hold it fairly tight. If you want to go for something bigger, uh, here's one for uh, 338 Lapua. Uh, so the same thing for that, you know, that's the case. So it goes in there. And you can tighten it. Uh, this one doesn't go through. So I've noticed with the uh, with the Lee uh, products, uh, some of them, the the pin in here doesn't want to go right through, or you or you battle to get it through here. Uh, but if you gently, you know, turn it in, it will go through eventually. See there, it stops, so it doesn't want to go in. Ah, there it goes further. So this one has just got a tight spot in there. So let's try this one. Okay, so that one is is getting tighter. There you go. So that one is tight. Uh, let's just give it another shot. There it's tight. As you can see on, on my 338 uh, brass that I've got here, I've got some um, figures written on. So this is my master brass. So I'm not going to use this one to clean. So I'm just going to take it out again. And I'm going to put in uh, typically uh, a number that will use uh, that's used for the uh, 375. So this is a reading one. It's a number six, and that goes in quite nicely. I've got some 303 brass. There's some 303 brass. Uh, the 30, uh, the 375 uh, H and H will also fit in there uh, quite nicely. There you go. So that one is in there. So as you can see, this one here as well, that's 
that's nice and dirty. So we're going to see, you know, what these chemicals uh, come up with. Then the third one is one from St. Clair. Uh, it's a number three, and that also holds the 3006 uh, style uh, and, and, and the, the brass with that diameter. So I've got a 3006, another one here, and I'm going to tighten that. And now they are, so now I've got a selection here of uh, different brass in different case holders. Uh, and let's see how they clean up. Now the next thing that you ne need is something like uh, this uh, uh, hand drill or a hand screwdriver that can turn fairly fast or fairly nice. And let's let's go for the um, the the one uh, 306 uh, case. So it goes in there. We just tighten it. So there you go. So now it can spin quite nicely. Now let's use the crazy cloth on, on this one and, and see what it does. So as you can see there, it's it's not clean. I mean, if you look at some of the other bras, this is the bras that we've cleaned uh, on the previous lesson. And you can see there, that's that's what, what we like to do uh, with a bras. I've annealed this piece of brass just to uh, uh, see what it looks like. But if you can have a look at this there, the brightness of this, and this is very, very dull. So let's go for a shot with this one on the, on the crazy cloth. So let's just put it on around there and we go for it. And then to clean it up, uh, which is just a dry piece of cloth, whatever cloth you can uh, get, uh, some cotton cloth or something like that. And this is just to clean off that uh, uh, the brass itself from the uh, chemicals. And let's just do that. And there you go. So this is fairly clean. It's uh, fairly bright as well. There's a couple of places here and there, especially closer to the uh, shell holder itself uh, that I can't get you know enough grip on to clean it. But it's clean. It's nice. You know, from compared to something like that now, uh, it's it's much better. One thing that you just need to remember is uh, the outside will be cleaned, but the inside will still be full of carbon. Uh, you know, to remove that carbon there, uh, as we've seen with the uh, different tumblers and the media that we use, it's quite a process to get that out there. So this is basically just to polish up maybe some old brass uh, that has been cleaned inside as well. Okay, so this is the crazy cloth. Um, I don't know if this is still available. Uh, at one time it was available here in South Africa. Uh, as far as I know, it's an American product. Uh, so it's it's quite a quite a nice piece of of uh, material to use to clean up your brass. So let's take this one out, and uh, we're going to give uh, another 306 a shot. And that will be with some of the. Uh, so here's this. I'll just take a new piece off here. You don't need a lot. So that, that piece there will most probably clean about 20 pieces of brass. You know, so uh, it's, <laughs> you can go with a tin like this, you can go very far. Okay, so let's see what it does with this one here. Okay, so there's uh, some of the chemicals that's left over, so we're just going to take that off with uh, the same cloth, so let's see what it looks like then.
Okay, so that's also quite a significant uh, change from something like that that was quite dirty. And you can see the, the comparison between the crazy cloth and the uh, never doll. Um, they give you very similar appearance to it. Uh, I like this stuff. Any one of these, they are very, very nice. The only thing is you can't really get right into or in this part over here, uh, you know, next to the shell, uh, because sometimes the the shell holder itself here yeah, will rip the, the the cloth out of your hand, and uh, yeah, that's not good. So that is then those two products, and let's just put the last one in here uh, and see what that does. Okay, so this is the right. Um, one thing that I found about this is uh, if you buy it or if you can get it, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very nice product. But if you let it stay too long, it dries out and then it, um, it, 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 it's hard to get it on or out of the, the little uh, uh, tin that it comes in here. But I've got some on, on, the, on the sponge that comes with it. And let's see how it does with the uh, this brass over here. So this is a 375 round. As you can see, it's also quite dirty. So let's go for it. Okay, now we're just going to clean off the, uh, the chemical. Okay, so that is not too bad. Uh, what, it, what you can see the it, it did leave some marks still uh, on it um, because this, unfortunately, uh, I've had this for a couple of years now and the um, reaction, you know, and, and the... Uh, yeah, so there you can see the, the brass, it's, it's fairly clean except for that spot over there and the small spot on this side over there. Uh, it, it did a fairly well job, but this is uh, fairly old. Um, and you know it's 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 maybe it's it's lost its uh, efficiency, but it's or it's it's good. Um, I think if you have a, a brand new pot of of this, uh, I know it. It will clean it out uh, very very fast uh, and very efficiently. So that's the three products uh, that we've had here, and also then the case turners. So that is the. Uh, Crazy Cloth, that one was the Neverdoll, and then this one here is the Rights. So that is for uh, mechanically cleaning it. Uh, you will be able to clean maybe um, a cartridge as well, a loaded cartridge uh, around. Uh, if it's gone maybe a little bit dull, uh, you can put that in and be very careful here with these ones that uh, sticks a pin through the center here that you don't detonate uh, your brass in here so rather use something like this here that's got a a, a flat surface uh, if you you put the uh, a live round in here to do it i won't suggest it but if you need to then you can you can maybe do it but be careful you know these sort of things uh, with a primer in it is is not um it's not a toy it can really hurt you seriously. Okay, what I'm going to, to do is this specific piece of brass here that's got the uh, marks on it. There's a couple of them around there. I'm just going to try and get them off with a never doll and see what that does uh, with it. So here we go with a never doll.
Okay, and now we're just going to take the chemical off. As, as you can see here, uh, uh, the shell holders, they tend to grip you know, some of the cloth and so on out of your hand. Uh, so just be careful for that, that it doesn't catch your finger, especially if you're using a powerful drill or something like that. And then let's just clean this off and see what it looks like after the never dull. Okay, and there you can see the difference. So, um, like I say, the Neverdull, it's really a nice product. Um, I love it. Uh, you will go with a tin of these. You'll clean thousands of rounds if you if you do it this way. But it's it's not the objective, it, you know, to clean all your rounds like this. Like I said, because of the carbon that's still inside, you st you've still got carbon inside your primer pocket that you have to scrape out. So this is uh, an after uh, finish. Uh, that I would say that that works very well. So you can see it did take that mark out to a fair extent um, If I polish a little bit more it will definitely take it out. So these are the uh, Mechanical or hand ways of doing it uh, Any one of these uh, I can recommend they will do the job uh, very good in a drill like this or maybe a power drill anything like that to get the uh, brass uh, quite shiny and clean on the outside so that's it for now uh, the next one up uh, we're going to show you something else uh, to annul the products and uh, then we are going into that direction of uh, the rest of the preparation of the cases so thanks for watching this one and uh, we'll see you next time around thanks